what exactly needs to happen. Um, and Eddie Lampert is very, very deep in the Sears trade at this point. He's very deep. <laughs> um, he has owned both equity and mm -hmm. debt for yeah. a very long time, and it seems like he is the last person who could possibly save it. So the deadline is 4 p.m. According to our clock that I saw somewhere, it's, we're about two hours out from that. Uh, by then, assuming he doesn't get the deadline extended, he needs to have financing for a $4.6 billion bid to buy Sears, and he needs to submit it. As of the last I checked, he was working hard, but hadn't yet done either. Who would want to give him the financing to save Sears, Perry? Well, I think there's a combination of folks. I think you have the, the bulge bracket lenders. You know, there's billions of dollars of inventory. It's a very safe loan, an asset-based loan or a term loan. And there are investors that believe in this concept and maybe his own fund. This is a company that's been around forever, right, since the 1800s. It has a place. It has a footprint. And um, it also has 50,000 people that work for it, or more than that, but 50,000 people whose jobs could be saved. And I think that's a, a, an endeavor well worth doing in and we trying to save it. And we should just focus on the, the Sears equity. He also has Seritage, the real estate company that he spun out several years ago, Land's End as well. By the way, neither one of those are positive since they've been spun off, uh, but he's made several attempts to try to, to realize some gains from this investment. Perry, is he going to be approved uh, to buy these assets? Well. How it works in if bankruptcy. If he even submits the bid? Sure. How it works in bankruptcy and what's called the Section 363 sale is, is the bid higher or better than the alternative? So if there are no other bidders for the footprint of the, of the store for a going concern, then they have to look at the liquidation and which is higher or better. Mm -hmm. So, and there are many um, different uh, variables that go to defining better, such as you know, the, the saving of the jobs, the, the What the about the fact the that he vendors. got into this position in the first place? <laughs> you know, it's going to be a little hard it, it, to say, okay, here's somebody who basically is sold and now buying back the thing whose value he drove down. Well, that'll be the decision of who would provide his financing and his own financing, his own fund, presumably. Mm -hmm. But also, it's not just, you know, one thing or one person that could ever drive a company that big down. If you look at what's happened in the past 15 years or so since he's owned it, you've had Walmart and Target just expand completely. Now, it's true, maybe Sears was weak and they were able to expand because of that, but they've expanded. You have the Internet that's happened, the online business, um, and you have changing trends that people shop at mm -hmm. and um, other alternatives. I mean, it's happened in every retail industry. You remember years ago there was a, a different electronics retailer in every strip mall. Now there's one or two.